Hello, Forge of Empire fans. This video highlights how incompetent either the developers or the beta program actually is. Why do I say that? Well, the game has been going on for 12 years. A lot of modifications in those 12 years. It has evolved tremendously. Sometimes developers introduced items or procedures or gameplay and they had no idea how that, how that will affect the game. Uh, Guild Expedition, the way Guild Expedition was revised the first time, the way it was revised the last time, Guild Battleground, the Ark, those introductions were not anticipated properly by the developers. But now they introduce quantum incursions. Okay, great idea, nice side play, enhances the game. It's just one problem. The code, the software is full of bugs, lots of problems. And sometimes a silly mistake is so obvious, nobody sees it. For instance, looking at this particular chest, my guild currently finished the second difficulty. So we went into the third, dif third difficulty. And, and I presume every time we move up, the rewards get better. So I wanted to see what the rewards will be like. Well, the first one, all the way on the left, makes sense. 250 forge points. Okay, very nice. Second one, 100 next age goods. Okay, very nice. And next one, 200 current age goods. Very nice. And then the next one is 200 forge points. Okay, so you either get 250 or 200. All right. Or both if you get all six chests. Then the next one, the fifth, is 400 previous age goods. So the goods are all the same. It doesn't matter which goods you get because 400 of previous era equal 200 of current era equal to 100 of, of next era. Okay. Don't have qualms with that. But here's an interesting prize or a, a reward. The Neo Class Colossus Level 1 Fragments. It shows me how many fragments I have, but it doesn't tell me how many fragments I'm going to get as a reward if I get this chest. How dumb. Now, somebody in beta should have picked it up, reported it, and the developers should have, by now, fixed that. So either nobody in beta cares to report things like this, which is what I think, because the beta program is not a beta program. It's not designed for people to catch issues with the game and report it and alert the developers to it. It just doesn't happen. How can you miss such an obvious flaw? Or the developers were notified but they can't fix it or they're just too swamped to fix it either way that's not acceptable at least to the professional IT person that I am I have an MBA in information methodology look the universities 
had no idea how to teach the new emerging technology. Because as soon as they figured out a syllabus, a curriculum, blah, 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 it was obsolete. So you had to teach the fundamentals. So no matter how the industry evolved, the people who got the degree at least had enough sense to know what the next step is. Unfortunately, too many people don't. But okay, that's a problem with our education. Anyway, don't get me started on the problems with our education. Just go listen to Victor Davis Hansen, the military historian who is one year older than me, but a lot smarter than me, and a very good, articulate American writer, columnist, whatever title he, he deserves to have. Anyway, so my take on this, this software that was released last Thursday should have been bulletproofed much better. This is shady work. This is incompetence. And I'm just highlighting it. Okay? Whether you like my opinion or not, it's my opinion. And here's the fact that this particular fragment of new Colossus Level 1 should tell you how many at difficulty to completion you will get as a reward. But it doesn't, because somebody screwed up initially by not putting it in, and somebody else screwed up by not catching it and fixing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly am glad to highlight and showcase my opinion and the facts that bear that my opinion is correct that Eno as a company does not know and does not have the skill set to do a decent comprehensive beta program to catch their flaws. Bye for now.